Hi YouTube, it's me Amy, I'm not your average wife. I have another eBay sales update for you guys today. And I've got quite a few things I wanna show you, so I'm gonna go through pretty quick. Okay, first up, this is a dress I got at what I call my tent man um, for only 25 cents, and I sold it for $28.39. This is a plus size dress that ties in the back and it's got that bohemian hippie feel to it. I always pick those up, especially if it's a quarter. Um, next up, this is the Lane Bryant baby doll top that I showed you in a haul video where it's sheared at the bust. It's kind of smocked and um, ladies love that. I sold that for $24.99. And this is one of the white cotton gowns that I told you guys about. Sold it for $27.53. I paid like $3 for that in the Goodwill. Great sale. This is some online arbitrage. I've recently discovered the world of online arbitrage where you buy something off of you know, one website and then sell it on another for a much higher price. I'm not going to tell you where I got this because I have several more, but I got this mug for $4.99, no, it was $3.99, and they had a deal where if you spent $25, you got free shipping, and I spent like $50 on that website, so um, definitely got free shipping, and I sold it for $34.99 the day I listed it, so I immediately listed another one, that one's still in my store, and I'm getting ready to have a sale because it's the weekend, so the next one might sell for, you know, half of $34.99. This I also showed you in a haul video. I got it at the Goodwill for $5. Now, you see the price there for $159.99. I did take, it was on sale for um, half of that. And I took, actually, no, it sold. Yeah, it was like 80 bucks. That's what it sold for. So, yeah. And I paid five for it. And that wasn't even listed a week. So, yay. This was in my Kmart haul where I told you they had um, a rack of racks and racks of clothes for $3 a piece. I paid $3 for it and sold it for $24.39. Adam Levine. Who oh, knew? These shoes were also. Um, we picked those up at the tent man. They were a quarter. No, no, no. They were at another yard sale. I think they were a dollar, but they sold for $29.99 and the brand is Blossom. Never even heard of it. I looked it up and I couldn't even find it. So I don't know, but they were very unique looking shoes. <laughs> and these were my little people. I showed you, I got that bag of little people. It had like 30 some people in it and I can't even remember what I paid for that bag now. Was it $10? Yeah, I think it was $10. But I sold just the Sesame Street ones for, I actually took a best offer of $20. Um, but 20 bucks for four of those little people. I haven't listed the other little people yet. That was a great deal. These I got in big lots. They had, I walked in one day and they had carts in the front of the store for 90% off of the lowest price. These slippers wound up being like 60 cents a piece. I got like 10 pairs of them. And this is the first pair that I've sold. Sold for 22, excuse me, 22, 21. That was a great profit. This Blue's Clues Plush. That was when my store was on sale when I sold that for he did. So he did only um sell for twelve dollars but I got him for like fifty nine cents so still happy with it and this book I got for ten cents in a thrift store and it was vintage it had a lot of really cool old pictures of housewives and homemakers and vintage appliances and of course you know housing plans from nineteen forty eight and I took a best offer on that for $20. I'd had it listed forever, I know over a year, but it finally sold. I wasn't going to give up on it because I always got watchers on it. It just never sold until recently, and I was happy with the price. These Iron Man 3 assemblers I got for a dollar a piece in Walmart. 
the price tag on there says seven dollars but they were in a buggy where everything was one dollar so I paid four dollars for the lot and then lotted them together and sold them for twenty five that was pretty sweet and this is a maxi skirt I don't think I've shown you too many maxi skirts I got this in Gabe's I believe I actually bought this for myself and then did not like the way it looked. No, I didn't. That's a 3X. That's not my size. So, okay, then that must have been on clearance. I probably paid like five bucks for it. And this also sold when it was on, when my store was on sale for 50% off. So it went for 17. Still a profit. I got this in the Goodwill for $6 because it was two pieces. It's the robe and the gown, Vanity Fair. And I know I didn't sell it for $34.99. I think I took a best offer of $25 for that. Great price. I always, when I see a robe and gown set, I always buy them in the Goodwill. You know, as long as it's not falling apart or, you know, filthy, I'll buy it because they sell really nice. And this guy, I paid a dollar for. And I sold him, I think I took a best offer of $34. I love it when the best offers are really close to my asking price. I'm like, heck yeah, I'll do that. He was super soft. Oh my gosh, he was really cute. Love it. And last but not least, this is, I believe, a handmade gown that I paid $4 for in the Goodwill. And I took a best offer of $50 for this. Now, I called this Victorian and steampunk because to me, that's what it is. It looks like something they would have worn back in, you know, those very romantic times. It, it really was pretty. And the fabric was nice and soft. Um, always got a lot of watchers on that. It took it a while to sell. I probably had it listed for several months, but it did finally sell, and I was very happy with the price. Okay, guys, this is what I'm selling on eBay, you know, running those sales every weekend, and that's really helping, really helping me to move stuff. I'm selling probably about 90% of my items on the weekends when I'm having those sales. So if you want to do that, just jack your prices up and then have a sale. It works every time. I hope you guys are having a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Love you, YouTube. Bye-bye.